And Sharon, this morning we're talking about that historic moment at the Masters. The big news over the weekend, Tiger Woods won the Masters. It's his first Masters title since 2005. Of course, he's had his highs and lows over the years. And with us to talk about that is co-host of Star 941's Jen Hobby of the Jeff and Jen Show. Good morning, Jen. Good morning, Joanne. You know, this was a win for the ages, and it stirred up a lot of nostalgia and a lot of emotions for a lot of different people. It's so true, and it's such an interesting human story, right? This great person put on a pedestal, and then we all watch so publicly that fall from grace. But I think what is so great about this, and our listeners have agreed this morning, is that it's that proof that you never give up, right? You have that focus on your goal and no matter what happens to you even that epic fail like tiger woods went through so publicly you just never give up you never know when you get to make your comeback and that's really the thing is this transcends the sport of golf this is something that everyone right. hopefully can identify with and be inspired by absolutely because we have to remember we're all human we're all going to make mistakes we're all going to go through really really tough times really dark times uh, we're going to lose people. As you know, Tiger lost his father, um, who was such a, a mentor and, and close best friend. But still, coming back from all of that, he just had that laser focus that, like you said, we can all learn from. Yeah, and you mentioned his father. Let's talk about the nostalgia of this, because there were some beautiful moments wearing the same red mock turtleneck he was wearing when he won in 2005. That hug with his son at the end that was reminiscent of the hug he had with his father the first time he won the Masters. Those are beautiful moments. Such beautiful moments and a reminder of what's important in your life, right? Your family and those closest to you, those are the ones that you're trying to make the most proud in your life, right? Absolutely. Now, at the same time, it seemed like there was an overwhelming sense of appreciating his comeback and his rege redemption, but there's always a contention of people who really aren't prepared to uh, get past his past transgressions. That is true, but those same people are going to want forgiveness in their own life. Mm -hmm. So even the toughest critics of Tiger Woods, and I was one of them back then <laughs> when all of that was happening, we have to eat our words today and say, you know what, you got to hand it to him. Somebody that has worked so hard on this comeback and never given up can be a great example for the rest of us. Man, that's what makes this such a terrific story. Jen, thank you so very much, and we'll talk to you again soon. All Thanks, right. Joanne. Appreciate it. Yeah, that is Jen from uh, the Jeff and Jen show on Star 941. And be sure to follow her on Twitter. You can check her out at Jen Hobby.